Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews. And today, we have something special from G Fuel, which Sean's very excited about. Yeah. It's the Doom Eternal Collector's Pack. Yeah. So we've got a, uh, a Doom shaker and a tub of uh, the new Doom Eternal flavour spicy demonade. Um, you a big Doom fan, aren't you? Yeah. So this this flavor is meant to be like a spicy lemonade, like a lemon demon. Like it's, it, it looks better th than it sounds because obviously it's pronounced demon and not demon, but it's spelled like lemon with a yeah, demon. yeah. But yeah, um, I I was uh, been looking forward to this one since bought this with your own money, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So I, I wanted the shaker more than anything, and th this this pack was forty dollars from G Fuel. Or the the tubs on their own are normally uh, thirty six, and then the shaker separately would have been a tenner. But I, I signed up to the the wait list and um, ordered it before the official um, release date. Um, like, so when was this released? Um, it was released a couple of weeks ago. It's taken a couple of weeks to get here. Um, I I don't know how the stocks are. These collectors packs normally sell out, but you shouldn't have any trouble getting the the flavor or the shaker. It's just in this collectors pack. Just in this box, you might not be able to get it anymore because they are fairly limited. Mm. All the previous ones they've done are all sold out for, for the other flavors. Um, but you get you get a couple of extra things with it, and it works out a bit cheaper. But at the moment, um, the, this earlier this week, uh, G Fuel have got their buy one get one free sale, and the new flavors are all on that. Um, so this wouldn't work out cheaper if you get in more than one flavor because at the moment you can just get it on buy one get one free and have um, two flavors for the price of one. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the, I ordered this before they had that offer. Um, yeah, well, uh, let's get into it, mate. Right? Sure. Unbox it. So I want to try and not rip it. It's it's not sealed or anything, but I'm trying to not not crease it. You want to keep here. it so nice. Yeah. So it's it's really really nice artwork on it. Like all the since since the original Doom came out in nineteen ninety. The artwork's always been really nice. It's a, it's a nice franchise. I even enjoyed the film with The Rock. So we've got a shaker there. Wow, it's that's a black cool, and red. Cool shaker, that actually. We've got the tub of G Fuel. And we've got a sticker. Nice. Uh, Where's that going? I don't know. Probably somewhere in your bedroom. Maybe. Like a little fanboy. I might put it on my PC. That's Ooh. really cool. And there's one more thing that you only get with the collector's pack, which is this. This is just a little card telling you about it. Um, it's called G Fuel To Go. So what this is, it's a little scooper oh. with a hinged lid on it. Uh, it's got this rubber thing so you don't lose the lid if that ever breaks. Um, you can, so you can put. A scoop so it's almost in. like a little protein like carrier. So if you yeah. carry multiple servings throughout the day with you. Yeah. So you can scoop scoop that up and keep it in there, and then you can either un unflip it and put it in a shaker, or you can take this rubber bung out and Just put it in. put it in a bottle bottle of water or something. Nice. Without spilling it. That's cool. All so, right, that, that's, that's pretty yeah, cool. And you only get that in the collector pack. This collector pack or just all of the... Uh, all of the collector's packs come with one of these. I think that's the only way you can get them. Uh, but this this orange one, I think, is uh, the, the Doom one. Oh, nice. Um, I, I don't know what to think. I'd, like, I'd maybe like it better if... It would have been better if it was that same colour red. Yeah, or if this lid was the same colour orange. Yeah, yeah, a bit of uniform um, in the products, but... Well, I do still really like this. I mean, I know it would have probably worn off, but it, even like the, the shake is very nice. But it would have been nice if the Doom logo had like some of the kind of same kind of graphics. I don't know. I, I, I like, like to say though, it would have probably worn off any eventually anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I really. You know, like it. if you put it, if you put them through the dishwasher or you know, scrubbing with a scour every, every so often, so. Yeah. Yeah. Should so we put this box to one side and put the box to one side. Um, we'll, we'll put we'll put these things back in it. Um, We'll put that to one side for now. See how careful I was with that then, because it's like I'm, I'm usually quite haphazard. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So what, what we'll do, we'll cut we'll cut the video here. We'll go and wash the shaker, and we'll try the new Doom Eternal Spicy Demonade, 
in the Doom Shaker. Not that the Shaker will make it taste any different, but I'm excited to use. Uh, I, I just like the Shaker. It's it's got the Doom logo on it, and it's black and red. And nice. I like it a lot. Right then. So yeah, we'll uh, back in a sack. Cheers. Hello everyone. We've rinsed the shaker. We've filled it with cold water. We've put a bit of ice in. Yeah. Let's so, get into it. Well, we, we we put a bit of ice in this and then filled it up to 16 ounces. The recommendation on the, on the pack is uh, 12 to 16 ounces. Um, so yeah, we've we've I've took, moved the plastic. I took the seal off it. Um, I'm expecting it to be sealed again. I've never actually had a tub before. Yeah. So we've got this. Um, uh, seal there. The plastic sleeve's a bit loose, but if you've had tubs of pre-workout and stuff before, that'll be fairly familiar. Okay, is there a... I can't see a scoop in there. Have you got a fork or something so we can, like, fish the scoop out if there is one in there? I think, it, looking at that, it, it actually says use the... <coughs> no, it, it should come with a scoop in it, I think. I think I can see see it, but it... I'm going to have to move the camera, is that okay? Uh, if we... There's a fork in there, I can just I can wash. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly cut the video, because, yeah, we didn't, we didn't realise it would be... That. Oh, is that the scoop there? Yeah, I'll just get it with my finger, my hands are... It's your, it's your thing, I'm yeah, not that bothered. I've, I've just washed my... Yeah, okay, so we've got, we've got the scooper here. Oh, it's a proper scoop for a bottle as well. Yeah, so the, the G Fuel scoops, they've got this, um, I've, I've read about them online before we've done this. Um, they've got, where's the hinge? Is that, that's the hinge there. So you you can open it like that for putting in the scooper or you can like scoop that's quite it up, a, That's quite a clever idea and then actually. Close that and then you can put it in a, a 500ml water bottle or something. So it yeah, will get a scoop. It's a bit messier than the sachet, so we've got a nice level scoop. Put that in there. Now, it's going to make me sneeze all that powder. <laughs> yeah, it's making me sneeze a bit, but I don't know if that's because it's like meant to be chilli flavoured, but it, it is tickling my nose a bit. Um, now, it would have been, a fair, well, I mean, you could, for, I was, just before we carry on, uh, there was somebody commented on one of our other videos that um, putting ice in the shaker will damage the shaker. I've been using shaker cups similar to these for the last 15 years or so mm. and I, I've never suffered any damage so I'm not overly concerned. Um, if you are really precious, like th this is something I would be precious about, uh, my new Doom shaker, I, I'm still not concerned that ice is going to do any damage. Now, it's one of them, the only thing that might get damaged is the, bit, the mixer in the middle which you can easily replace. Yeah, I mean... If you were shaking rocks in it or something and the plastic was quite brittle, it could break plastic. So we've got we've got another G Fuel shaker that we've prepared similarly. Mm. Same amount of water, same amount of ice. And in this one, oh. we're going to try this. G Fuel. Which is the same flavour, but it's the BFG edition, which is something <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've not seen. That, um, if, you, if you don't know... Um, BFG is a, an acronym. Um, it's the big gun, Flipping gun. <laughs> in in Doom, yeah. and um, also uh, Quake as well. Um, borrowed the BFG, I think. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Quake, Quake Two, anyway, and Quake. Did Quake I think three? I think it's made appearances in yeah. a couple of them, but so. Um, but yeah, this is the same flavor, but it's a bigger tub with a bigger scoop and twice as much caffeine. Now the scoop isn't quite twice the size, it's an 11 gram scoop, whereas this one is 7 grams. So it's only 4 grams more, so presumably the formula is completely different. It's not just like having two scoops of the other one. Mm. It's still 40 servings because it's a bigger tub. But interestingly, even though this is a bigger tub with more caffeine and it's, it's painted gold, this is the same price as the normal G Fuel, and this is even. It? it is. It's thirty six dollars, and it's even included on the buy one get one free. Wow. Do you know what? As well, what because we we do quite a few like we've had quite a few pre workouts in the past. This is almost like identical to a pre workout. Yeah. It's... Shaped tub. I mean, I know tubs are tubs at the end of the day, but it, you so, know you see a lot of them, especially in gold or you know they might be quite metallic 
colours yeah. on the top. And that, that shape just reminds me of, if, if I didn't see that and I just thought, you say, what's that, John? I'll go yeah. like some kind of pre-workout. Yeah, so, I think they, they, they have done a, a tub before. Uh, Gamma Labs made one called uh, 24 Carats or something that was in a, a gold tub like this. It wasn't G Fuel, but it's, it was made by Gamma Labs, who are the same people who made mm -hmm. G Fuel. So what, what I'm interested to do, I have actually tried this because I got really, really impatient um, yeah. when the shaker came and I couldn't wait until I see, uh, saw John. <laughs> Um, but I, I, I did save the unboxing of the... It was one thing, night. But, yeah. <laughs> it was one night. It was last night. And you thought, no, I can't wait. It was Friday night. All right. Sunday. Two nights. So you'll see this this shaker, it's, it's got the similar hinge on it and everything, which is really cool. Uh, but it's, it's slightly larger. So I'm interested because obviously the formulation must be different. It's not like they've just doubled everything up to get double the amount of caffeine. A normal scoop of G Fuel has about 150 milligrams of caffeine. This has 300 milligrams. So it is just twice the amount of caffeine. They recommend the same amount of water and everything. So what I would expect is that this would taste more bitter um, of the caffeine. because of the caffeine and it's not got double the amount of everything else in it. The scoop's not double the size. So I'm expecting um, Sorry. this is either going to taste stronger in the same amount of water because they've had to put more flavour in it to cover up the caffeine or it's going to taste more bitter because of the caffeine in, so I'm interested to compare Let's get them shaked up, and shook up, shaked up. Shaken. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> right, should we try? Try this one first. The, I was going to say original, but- The, the regular, regular. Spicy Demonade. Smells like lemonade. Smells like lemonade. Oh, we know as well, uh, thanks to uh, DJ Painkiller, that that's the Gamma Labs logo. When, when we first used this shake, we didn't is know that, what is that what normal that or is that not <laughs> So there's lots of red in it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a feature. Yeah, I think I think it might be. You know, I've I've, I've you know I've shook it up again. Nah, it's a feature in it. That's really cool. That is quite cool. So there's lots of red in it. I hadn't noticed that because I, I was drinking it from my. Wow! Pro Pro Shake, I think it was the Ultimate Warrior Shaker that I've got. I was just drinking it straight out of there. I've not had it in a glass. Mm -hmm. So it's a cloudy lemonade colour with these red demon-like flakes in it, shall we say? Yeah. Gore. <laughs> That's cool. Cheers. Cheers, mate. So it sm it smells like lemonade. Wow. <laughs> That isn't like nothing I've ever drank. It it tastes it when when you first sip it, you've got a sort of sharp lemon flavour, and then you've got uh, there's <coughs> there's a surprising amount of heat. Um, <laughs> that is almost like you just you just dabbing chilies on the back of your throat. Yeah, it's lemonade, <laughs> cool, refreshing lemonade, especially and very cold because we put ice in it, and then you've just got chili, yeah, <laughs> smashing you in the. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Um, we, we've had a few G Fuel flavours. I know some of them have been quite strong, some of them have been quite weak. I didn't know what to expect with this, but uh, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so spicy, even though it does say all over the packaging. Caution, both tubs. spicy. Caution, spicy, caution, spicy. Spicy Demonade is the name of the flavour. I still wasn't expecting it to be like this. And it's not like a cinnamon sort of heat. It, it, it's definitely a chilli. You've got pictures of... Look at it. Uh, it's all almost like chilli powder, it, 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 isn't it? Yeah. There's pictures of, of chili where it says spicy. It's not like um, they're not messing around. No, they're not mocking about with that. Wow. The 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 actual lemonade flavor is really nice as yeah. well. And then yeah, you just got that. I think chili. the spicy flavor is nice. It's just I'm I'm a bit concerned that getting through both tubs of this is going to be a bit of a challenge in the long run. I think it's something I might tire of quite quickly. Are we it's rinsing not, the glasses? It's not easily drinkable. Um, or should we not need to? There's no, they're the same, they're meant to be the same flavour. But you had this one, so... Um, well, we, I've got this with ice, so I've not done a direct comparison. Okay, so I'll put that one to one side, because I've finished that, my one. And we'll bring in the, the other tub, so you can see which one. Give that another. Yeah, it's quite a compelling flavour. Um, 
if yeah, you if, you're gonna, if you like things like chili chocolate and stuff yeah. like that, you're going to absolutely adore this. As long as you like, don't mind lemonade either. Yeah. Well, while it's on buy one, get one free, I'd maybe just try some. Um, but I'd, I'd be a lot happier if like flavours like this, really strange flavours, they had sample tubs of. I'm sure they will at some point, but at the moment there aren't sample tubs. Uh, sample sachets <sighs> of this, it's only in the tubs. So, cheers. Smells exactly the same. Yeah. Looks exactly the same. Yeah, you got the the flex of red. It's a right. So we we've done well here because we're doing back to back flavor with the just the regular. Was it 150 milligrams of caffeine compared to 300? So. Now I was gonna say something, but it's probably I was gonna say like, oh, the chili doesn't seem to be hitting me in the back of the throat as much, but I could just be getting used to it because of how intense the normal one is. Yeah, I think for for me the the chili is very similar. Um, what what I am finding with this, um, in the same amount of water, it seems to be more chalky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it does you do get like that maybe slightly powdery aftertaste? Yeah. Um, it is the same amount of water. It is a bigger scoop. That was maybe to be expected, uh, but then it tastes very. It, that you can you could say that about the normal sachets of G Fuel. Yeah. In the similar amount of water. Yeah. So. Re relative to the other one, this is chalky. Um, the flavor is very similar. There's not much sort of extra caffeine coming through. So, mm. I'm guessing like most of the extra powder in it will be extra flavoring to sort of balance that out better. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, um, it's probably why to try and cover up the bitterness from the caffeine. But they, they've they've done a good job for this to taste so similar in the same amount of water, um, but with twice as much caffeine. That's um, quite impressive. Mm. It could be that they're using um, some form of caffeine. Uh, I don't know what because if you have like anhydrous caffeine, that's just going to taste mm. bitter. It could be some sort of caffeine complex that. The flavour doesn't come through so much on. I, I don't know, but wow! But I given how chalky it tastes, I'd probably say if you're going to have this, have it with um, more water. Um, yeah, maybe like fifty percent more than what it suggests. Yeah, just a yeah, like maybe even six, twenty, even twenty ounces will probably yeah. help help out a lot. So if you're having more caffeine, you want to stay better hydrated anyway. Yeah, um, I, I would have thought, but yeah, it's it's impressive that they can pack in all that extra, charge the same amount for it, and it tastes pretty much the same. It's it's pretty indistinguishable to me, other than the texture. Yeah, and as as well, if you are like us, quite used to drinking a lot of caffeine, and you know, and you find that say the regular G fuel isn't doing enough for you, then definitely give this a go. If you think you yeah, need to pack in more caffeine in, into a session. Yeah. Obviously, you can just use two scoops of the other stuff, but that's going to cost you twice yeah. as much money. This is the, the same price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd be interested to see if they start doing big tubs like this, If they even if they just round the price up to $40. If, yeah, if they, change, um, if they charge that f like $4 or £4 or whatever, it, it, you know, it, you know, that, like you say, rounded up to so that couple, you know. Yeah. It would be, it, it would be so worth just, it. Just have this as an option for some of the other flavours. Um, yeah. Well, I can't. I can't see them doing it. I'm still confused as to why this would cost the same. I was expecting this to be fifty dollars, um, and the normal one to be the same price as normal. But well, when when they it's announced that I'm this sorry. was the same price, I was really surprised. I was happy because I, I was planning on buying it anyway because I was excited. Yeah. Um. But I was I was confused. Um. Yeah. I don't know who to recommend this to. It's a really weird flavor. Like like John says, if you like chili chocolate, like that sweet mixture yeah. of. Uh, sweet and spicy you're probably going to like mm. it if um, you like intense flavors whether it's super sour or super sweet or just just something you know that proper gets your taste buds going give this a try if you're more of a fan of say the cotton candy flavors yes yeah, which are just really <laughs> subtle you're not gonna you maybe not gonna enjoy this um, you know so because yeah. you would taste it and you then you might feel like you've wasted 40 quid 50 quid 40 dollars whatever it's, it's gonna cost you in your location so 
And the, the lemonade is, is, is obviously noticeable that it's a lemonade base that this chili's yeah. on, but it's not like a really, really sharp sour lemonade. No. Um, I, I maybe would have liked to have seen that come through a bit more and be more sour, but as it is, it's, it's still nice. It's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Well, yeah, I don't think I've got anything more to add to you. No. No. Hope, hope you've enjoyed this maybe special edition <laughs> um, of Doom Eternal G Fuel. Should we bring the box back in? We'll just bring, bring those yep. back in. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you're going to get this, if you've already got it, if you've already tried it. Um, we, we, we'd be very keen to hear your thoughts on this because it is a little yeah. different and it, it is quite special. So, But on that note, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.